One of my favorite animes of all time, and yes, I am an anime nerd to my absolute core. I don't give a what people have to say, is Berserk. It is the one humbling anime and manga that has really just created who I am. I mean, I took a lot of personality traits from Guts and applied them to my own life, and now they are kind of just a part of me. And I know many people feel the very same way as the character was built around being really relatable. Obviously, he's at the extreme end of it, but you can see, like, the imagery of him is all over my body. Now, I want to make this very clear. I think think the anime is sick and I think you can derive a lot of motivation from the anime to get better as a man truly like I think there is a ton of evidence in that manga and show whether it's the recent adaptations or the very first early adaptation which is by far the best you can develop a really good personality trait a hard working defiance of pain I mean just literally morality shining through in almost every decision you make even if in the moment the logic that would be acceptable is not necessarily moral or emotionally acceptable by others, but you're doing it for the greater good. It's a great fucking show. Highly suggest you watch it if you've never watched it before. Get ready for some really explicit content because there's a lot of it, but man, it gets your juices flowing. But like I was saying, some people take it a little bit too far. We did a video on Shizzy and he has that berserk tattoo, which is like the sacrifice tattoo. It's all over him. I, I don't love that stuff. I'm not that big of a guy who's going to just be like blasting that shit like every other anime boy on TikTok all over myself. I like my artwork clean and fresh and unique, but what I do want to bring up is some crazy stuff. And it's something that has really caught a lot of traction, which is big sword training. A lot of people, even at the Olympia, thought that this was a really good method to get fit. The guy who I'm about to show you was at the Olympia teaching people how to swing a 20 to 25 pound sword as a fitness routine. The man we're talking about today is Sean Paul Braden Couch. I think that is his entire name, and I hope it's pronounced correctly. Couch is a weird last name. No offense, just an odd one. Haven't seen it very often. But as you can see through some of the thumbnails on his Instagram, he does train mainly through using a sword and does claim that this is a big part of why he has the physique that he has. Now, my objective goal here is to show you that can this be done? Can you build an amazing physique using a sword only? And is that going to be the one thing that we're all missing out on and the only thing that we need to do? Because better strategic killers to also gain subsequently a really great physique. Let's just view some of his content and be a little bit objective because I think what he does is absolutely sick. Don't get me wrong. I think this kind of stuff is cooler than I have ever seen before. I don't know many people who can throw around a sword like he can. For instance, I mean, check this shit out. He is like for sure mastered the craft of throwing around the demon slayer like a real sword. He's even doing repetitions and uh, getting better at it apparently is what people say <laughs> and he often goes to the beach to show off his moves keep in mind this sword is 20 to 25 pounds depending on which one he's carrying and he can move it pretty fast for sure it's impressive i will say that as he swings it unfortunately the blade part of it doesn't necessarily face the target and when you are swinging a sword speaking from combat knife training in the military the blade has to be facing the target like in direction of the way you're slicing for there to be an effective slice in the lore of Berserk, Guts has the Demon Slayer, and it's actually blunt. It's not sharp at all. In fact, it just weighs so much that it cuts people in half through blunt force trauma, which is absolutely nuts and probably not super realistic. But in this case, I mean, the sword... Look, I'm going way beyond what the fuck I was trying to originally make this video about, so scratch that. I won't critique the sword technique, okay? It's a big sword. He's swinging it around really cool. It looks badass. But are these workouts the best shoulder workout actually going to build you muscle? Is it actually going to build you the physique that he has? Well, arguably no, unfortunately not. See, the problem is, is when we're trying to build muscle, we're looking at causing a bit of mechanical tension, a little bit of metabolite buildup, which is sort of that lactic acid burn, the pump that you feel, and some possible muscle damage. The mechanisms here are heavily debated with almost every educational influencer out there, but let's just say that those are our three possible mechanisms. There's also a 
little bit of stretch mediated hypertrophy we could talk about as well but let's just consider these basics when you're lifting a weight you are technically applying load to a muscle in a very mechanically disadvantaged state and this is to specifically isolate a given muscle and to make the lever as inefficient as possible so that you can lift a lower weight but get a higher stimulus placing better tension on a muscle gives you better results within the development of that muscle now swinging around a really heavy sword will absolutely place tension on muscles but not necessarily any specific muscles and not necessarily a bilateral equivalent of any kind of exercise yeah yeah i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm just gonna go go and check my mail over there you see, what happens in this case is you're likely going to be swinging around a sword and contracting muscles, which for anybody who doesn't work out will lead to some muscle development and certainly improvements of strength. But at the large, it's really not going to do a whole lot for you outside of develop a lot of cardiovascular endurance. In fact, swinging a sword around would be more equivalent to just performing cardio than would actually it be equivalent to hypertrophy training. I mean, there's a reason that CrossFit athletes look jacked, but they don't look as jacked as bodybuilders because while they're still lifting weights and they're still doing the things that a lot of athletes do they're not necessarily lifting them in a capacity or a function that is hypertrophic meaning they're not doing isolation exercises they're not usually doing very high volume with specific exercises targeting specific muscles yes they're doing high volume but it's usually only in three or four movements and a lot of the work that they're doing is cardiovascular based and so if you wanted to build a really well-developed physique well, hypertrophy training has been around for decades and it's worked really well for decades. And that's because, like I was talking about before, the mechanisms of hypertrophy can really be leveraged by lifting gravity away from you. <laughs> if you lift a weight, you are creating mechanical tension. You are creating some form of stretch. And typically this is, if you could think about it, like a chest fly. You are stretching your chest fibers out. Holy fuck. Make sure not to do exercise demonstrations in my studio. You are basically stretching the chest fibers out as much as you can and that stretch does mediate some form of hypertrophy at least allegedly as you press in a chest press you are getting a lot of stretch within that chest fiber therefore creating some stretch mediated hypertrophy also with that stretch mediation in that specific resistance profile there's a lot of tension placed in the lengthened portion of the movement this is true with virtually all of the movements we do within the gym if you think of a bicep curl or a tricep extension these movements are placing a lot of stretch on the muscle as well as putting tension on the muscle when it's fully lengthened in the situation where you're throwing a sword around you are certainly exercising your body but you're not actually efficiently doing anything that would lead to direct hypertrophy so while i think the mechanism is great and i don't have any issue with people getting healthy through different mechanisms than what might be normally approached i do want to be very clear in saying that if you want a physique like the individual we're looking at i don't think you're going to be able to achieve that by throwing throwing a sword around. Might I even say, having seen this person in person, <laughs> you might not even be able to achieve this without the use of steroids. So while I think Sean has a lot of valuable things to say about getting healthy and using different mechanisms to approach getting healthy, the fact still remains that he sells a training program that's based around the use of his sword. And of course, he sells you the workout sword in general. So you get access to two things through the medium of Sean. And Sean, of course isn't going to publish that he's using testosterone to get his gains he's not going to publish that he's using the weight room to get his gains he will very clearly show you that he's using the sword as a mechanism to get his gains and this my friends is where things go a little bit haywire and morality comes into question now i haven't researched sean nearly enough to show that he hasn't certainly claimed he works out with weights my thing is is that most of the content he does produce is promoting working out using with the sword and let's just extrapolate if you're new to his program profile and you scroll down you would quite literally only see him working out with the sword and so while i love guts and i love this idea i think it's fucking badass and it looks cool as shit i I mean, I would like to do it. It's not something that's going to get you gains, and it's maybe not worth the several hundred dollars for a workout sword, nor the several hundred dollars for the workout plan. Instead, you might just hit the traditional route. Go to the gym, lift some weights, and then buy a sword when you're ready to look jacked with a sword. Because let's be honest, the only time you're going to use something like that is in a photo shoot or a small video once in your lifetime, and then it's going to sit in your closet for the rest of your lifetime. And you might bring it out once in a while to show your friends when you're all drunk or something, but everyone's going to be like, oh, that's 
that's really cool and lose interest almost instantaneously. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does me a huge favor. We also do have a Discord group. It is an amazing group where you can learn fitness advice that isn't throwing around a sword as well as get resources for pharmacology and the best information from the best coaches in the industry. It is a great way to support this channel financially and it is the only thing that I will ask you to do ever in my videos because it's so fucking helpful. Catch you in the next one, gang.